Uh, good practice day. Go ahead and open up. Zach, you're on the right. Ted is supposed to do his social media yesterday that he's back. Just curious if you can offer an update on that. Yeah, I'm not going to talk about injuries. You, you guys will see him on the field when they're ready to go. James, front left. Does the move to unlimited officials open things up for this next weekend a little bit more than maybe it was originally anticipated? And, and how many more does that really open? Not necessarily for us. I mean, I, I do think that's a, a problem solver for certainly a lot of new teams that have a lot of transition that's happening, but not necessarily for us. Right. Yeah, Coach, it's safe to say you've been pretty uh, creative this year in terms of how you've motivated the team and also created an edge for those guys from, you know, the Pavlov's dog uh, metaphor last week to, you know, the gladiator movie against Michigan. Um, so where did that creativity come from? And how important is it when you're coaching a group of college guys to sort of package that information in unique ways? Well, I, I do think it's important to package information in unique ways, but ultimately I'd say motivation is overrated. You still have to go out there and go perform. And um, our guys have done a really good job of doing that. Right, next one, Eric. A, a team doesn't get to where you guys are without really good coaches. We've talked a lot about the players. Just want to give you an opportunity to kind of shout out what you've seen from the staff and, and everybody involved to get there. Yeah, it's the best staff I've ever been a part of, um, you know, in in terms of preparation, uh, in, in terms of self-awareness, you know, identifying something that we have to improve on. Our offensive staff, defensive staff, special teams, like really just our entire staff is um, phenomenal at that. Like, I think that's a, a trait that doesn't exist a lot. We always talk about, you know, coach our players being coachable, right? I think it's really important for coaches to be coachable and to have great self-awareness of like, where can we improve? What do we do best? Um, how can we attack the opponent? And that's what I think our, our coaching staff's elite at. All right, Zach. As much as you'd probably like to win every game by 50 points, what value do you see in a game where you have to fight to the very end and you kind of allow that connection to show itself in late in the game? Yeah, ultimately, I think uh, every team I've been a part of that's had success has had resilient, you know, games, you know, wins that required everyone's effort all the way to the very end and critical moments. And it certainly prepares you for moments like that that you'll have in the future. Back left, Matt. When you got here, there are players you had to convince to stay, and there's still some of them here, Bossa, Ferg, Keon, um, Herbert, Harper, um, your thoughts on just what those guys mean to this program and the success you guys are having this season? I, I forgot Dante as well. Yeah, so just some unbelievable guys that, uh, you know, have a goal and, and uh, realize that they can accomplish that goal right here at Oregon. Uh, and I think they work their tail off. And those are some of the, you know, critical leaders of this group that have really, you know, framed the culture for our team. And we always talk about this being a player-led team. I think that shows up, you know, with those guys. Front left, James. With the signing day in a couple of weeks, it, there's been some reports out there about 85 and 105 and how much of the 105 would, would stay at 85. What's your understanding, Dan, of what the Big Ten is going to do? Is it going to still be at 85 for the scholarship side and 105 is what the anticipation is for overall roster size? Um, I'm not going to really hop into it. I mean, I, it, it, the great thing about college football is it could change again tomorrow. So we're ready to adapt, and uh, I'm not going to really lean into that. But you're on track. Up there. I wonder if you've had a chance to kind of appreciate what Kenny's been able to do at Arizona State and, and kind of the spot they're in right now. Yeah, we certainly text back and forth. I mean, I think he's done an unbelievable job um, taking that team where they're at right now. And uh, I haven't really had an opportunity to watch them, but you can track them and see. Um, what they've done, and I know where, where it was at when he got there, so really impressive and, and glad he's doing so well. All right, Zach. How much of this week is spent preparing for Washington or more of a work week, like you say, and kind of focused on yourself? Yeah, I think there's a lot of things that we can get better at, and it's really it's really focused on us. You know, that's you, you do get an opportunity to get a jump on another team, but I think the thing that you have to do first is evaluate yourself. So that's what this week's really been about, us improving, uh, getting healthy, um, you know, focusing on those details. Portal was always opening in December before then, but with the playoff now being as long as it is and the back end of the, the window narrowing, no one has the luxury of waiting for guys to enter or forcing them to wait until after the season's over. They're going to have to be in earlier. Your, your thoughts on how you're going to go about managing that where guys who, if guys are looking to enter, will they still be able to play if you're still playing? Uh, probably not. Um, but we're evaluating that. You know, guys have to make the best decision for them, and that's one of the things that's great about you know college football is they have you know that that power, they have that right uh, to be able to do that. But you know, I think our team's in a really good place, um, and we'll have the right the right guys here available to help us you know through the stretch. Back left, Matt. 
also signing day pushed up and I think a unique opportunity this weekend to have a bye week. How, how do you guys utilize this week from a recruiting standpoint and be prepared for an earlier signing period? Yeah, we had a big personnel meeting, you know, earlier this week and, you know, continue to evaluate who we can add to, to our roster and where we're at with guys um, that are currently committed and be able to make those connections and, and tap in. So uh, everything's, you know, it, it, the time of all of it doesn't necessarily make sense for our schedule, right? But that's what's great is who can manage that the best and adapt and do the best job of, of handling all those situations. Oh, yeah, Franco. Thank Thanks. you. Appreciate it.